how'd you get here? What's good? Welcome to Sonic Time Twisted. Uh, I think it's a relatively old fan game. I actually don't know exactly when it came out. Also, uh, you can tell I tried to record this a few times. Don't look. <laughs> don't look. It's so embarrassing. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's a relatively old fan game. I remember playing it a long time ago, um, at the very least a few years ago, and I think I completed it. This is one of the very few Sonic fan games that is completed. These are the, the fan games I like to look at the most, because you kind of get the best idea of... If, if something is finished, it's easier to... I don't know, see the benefits of it, and, and also simultaneously, like, criticize elements of it, because it's like, it's... it's done. Uh, all of the benefits that are here will not be changed. All of the negatives will not be changed. So it's it's easier to talk about, and I feel better about talking about it. Whereas if I'm talking about a new fan game, I I don't know. I guess, like, for unfinished fan games, the criticisms can actually be used uh, to improve the game. So that also has its uses. But also, like, I don't know. I feel bad, man. Like, it's not their best work. This is, like, this is the end. This is their best work. They're they're not going to, to add anything else to it. But anyways, uh, kind of massive tangent uh, before even introducing what this game is. It is a very heavily inspired by Sonic CD, Sonic fan game. Uh, also got a little bit of Sonic 3 in there from what I can tell. Just based on level design and also the, I mean, look at Sonic. He's got a little, he's got a little bit of 3 in there. Uh, but he also does have the super peel out as per yeah. usual. It is a CD inspired fan game and I mean, Every single classic Sonic fan game has it, except for like Sonic Galactic, I think, and that's kind of that's kind of it. I, or and maybe the Mania mods don't have it either. I don't know. There are some absolutely insane Mania mods that just completely alter uh, the framework of Mania, or not the framework, but like they they use the framework of Mania to produce a fan game that is just so completely its own thing. It's super cool. It's super, super cool, uh, and I, I do want to check some of those out, especially because they give you Mania for fucking pennies, bro. I got that shit for free on Epic on PC. Like, that, it, it's nuts. <laughs> it's actually nuts. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's really, really cool. It's really cool that we've got so much cool stuff going on, uh, and this game is no different. I remember it being really, really fun, uh, and the level design being... Pretty invisible, which is a, a good thing, by the way. I know that sounds kind of negative off rip, but it is a good thing. Good level design should be invisible. Uh, completely forgot about that saying until some commenter with fucking fire on his fingers typed that out. And I was like, oh shit, it's perfect. <laughs> you know, stole that. I was like, that's mine now. I, I know you didn't create that saying, but it's mine now. Like, I'm taking that shit. Um, but yeah. By the way, in case you were you were doubting my CD thing and you thought it was just aesthetic, no, they also have past and present stuff, which is so cool. It's so cool. Uh, I think they only they don't have or sorry they don't have a present feature. I'm pretty sure. I think it's only past and future. So, you know, you're not getting three different uh, implementations of the stage. You are only getting two. Um, but. In my opinion, I think this feature works way better than it did in CD. It's kind of a, a good evolution of this, just because... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's a, I'm pretty sure it's an older fan game. It's it's really fun. I shouldn't make fun of the aesthetic, but that was really funny to me. Um, but, anyways, fuck, what was I saying? Oh, okay, yeah, 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 we're back on track. So, I generally think that the past and future mechanic in this game is much more palatable than it is in CD. It feels like um, something that exists to kind of capture what made the uh, past, future, past and future, present, whatever aspects of CD cool, uh, but actually make it like a little more, I don't know, achievable. Because in CD, okay, here's my big takeaway from this. Maybe I can use this, holy fuck, this boss is gonna be weird. Um, my big takeaway, right, it, from playing CD, uh, like, fucking too many times to count, honestly, um, is I think that it's a really cool game, and it has a lot of really cool concepts and features that it's trying to implement, but also, alright, I think as long as I just hug shit, it should work. Oh, no, 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 he does, okay. Alright, so he switches around, sorry, I gotta lock in for this fight, I gotta, cause this shit's weird. What the fuck is he doing, bro? Okay, also, like, the momentum here is a little, like, it's a little fucked. It's a little gimped. All right, are we good now? Are we done with the first part? Is that a period? There's no way. I feel like fan games don't... <laughs> hey, that's it. Okay, cool. Uh, I feel like fan games don't really get the concept of, like, 
that's enough, <laughs> you know, with boss fights at least, because it's like, I don't, I don't know, I don't want to be, I don't want to be doing the superstars bit where I'm, I'm trying to get through this boss and it takes fucking 40 hours, but a lot of fan games kind of like, in trying to find a solution to the classic Sonic boss fight quote-unquote problem, I don't think it's a problem. I prefer boss fights that are practically non-existent in these games, but whatever, maybe that's just me. Um, but in, a, in an attempt to solve that quote-unquote problem, you get a lot of bosses that just are too much, man, too much. I don't think I'm meant to uh, go up there. All right, <laughs> deal, good deal. Get me out, please, holy fuck. Um, but, fuck, well, okay, CD, CD, sorry, dude. I'm losing my train of thought. There's just too much going on. This fan game is just too cool. There's too much shit. And also, dude, the the design of these stages visually is super cool. It's really cool. It's very much CD, but they have, like, their own thing going on with these level designs and, and these gimmicks. And it's pretty cool. It, it does kind of have the same quote-unquote issue that I have with CD personally, where... Did this... Whoa. Spikes don't hurt me with this shield? Dude, these shields are kind of sick. I remember these shields, these, uh, shields existing. I think there are, like, two new ones? Something like that. There's a rock shield and there's something else. And then, you know, the, the usual suspects, but, um, that's really cool. Anyways, uh, dude, I keep losing my fucking train of thought. Shoot your shit. Oh, that's bad. Holy fuck. Okay, okay, I got a vision. I got a vision. I think I can, dude, I can mutilate this kid. I can mutilate this kid. Oh my god, he's so embar- he's actually embarrassing. Spin around, bud. Your time's done. Are you good, bro? All right, let's just let him walk. <laughs> let's 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 let him walk. Um, but okay, I, I I keep getting off track. To go back to something I was talking about ages ago, um, I think the past, present, future thing with CD works sometimes, doesn't work others. Um, in in base CD itself, and I think uh, the simplification of it here kind of overall benefits the game because it, it okay my issue with the past present future mechanic in cd is that the levels feel very much not designed around it um just because they are so uh exploratory in nature and a lot of that turns into kind of um vertical level design in a lot of ways or you know they also have these weird fucking things where it's like you'll you'll clip something and it will just completely negate all the speed you built up. So you gotta do some weird bullshit to actually make the, uh... past, present, future mechanic work well <laughs> in, in CD. And some people really like that, and figuring out how to use that can be fun for people, but it's not fun on a first playthrough. And I don't think it really ever will be. Uh, and I think that's why a lot of people, f like, on their, on their first playthrough of CD are very negative on it. Uh, it just does not work well for... A, a casual experience. Um, so I think simplifying it, making it so, you know, the levels don't actually have to be designed around the mechanic, and more so, as long as you're going fast, uh, you can... you can utilize the mechanic just by hitting it. It's, it's just better. It's a better way of going about it, it's an easier way for people to actually experience the cool stuff that the mechanic offers without the annoyances of having to completely tailor your first playthrough to being fucking afraid of the smallest things because oh god what if i what if i lose all of my momentum because of a fucking ledge they decided to randomly throw in the ground that was didn't even fucking do anything for me in the long run i'm i'm so dead no we're good i'm just joking <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking with you i'm fucking with you so far this little design's pretty good i think the first stage being uh very spring oriented uh was kind of a, an initial bad taste in my mouth but even then it honestly worked pretty well i don't think there was anything like that made me super icky with it you know what i'm saying i i it kind of hit me it hit me in a good place the level design has been really good so far which is wild because a lot of okay i know i say this every time a lot of sonic fan games don't really get level design down too well so i think the I don't know. Simply getting level design down is already so much. Like, it, it, you're already winning. You're already winning the fight. You're already winning the battle, brother. It's super cool. I really like this shield. This is sick. This is so cool, dude. It kind of like forces- Whoa, wait, wait, wait. 
how do you how do you what how do you manipulate this i guess you can just press whatever button but sometimes it does weird fucking movements i guess it's to like why did it do a circle there okay i don't know there's a chance this one's a little wonky but it's really cool conceptually i like it a lot it honestly i thought it was going to be like the usual double jump i know a lot of shields like doing that in uh classic sonic fan games and you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna knock that because it just works it just works really well what the fuck is this one? Oh, it's like an insta oh insta shield type beat that's pretty cool. I I am really ex oh. <laughs> I was about to say I'm really excited to see what these special stages look like. Um, yeah, I'll try it again. You have to hold forward. I thought it was gonna you know auto speed up for you, but it looks like you actually do have speed control, which is pretty cool. I don't mind that. I think it removes a little bit of the challenge. Uh, let's let's just run that back one more time. I, I, let's just one more guys one more time. One more time. This mechanic, by the way, already frame one, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Being able to restart the special stage, thank God. This should have been in Mania, too. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm a hater. It should have been, bruh. It should have been. I'm tired of sitting here pretending like special stages have to have this fucking dumbass. Oh, look. You gotta find a new one now because you fucked up. Good luck on the next time. Let's hope you remember what you messed up on. Good job, buddy. Like, I, I hate that shit. Stop that. Quit that. I don't want that. Uh, I, I want to be able to, to retry it and actually learn from my mistakes. I do actually want this Insta Shield one, but I want to be able to learn from my mistakes and actually apply that, like, immediately. Oh, I fucked up because I didn't... I don't know. I didn't know that I could accelerate by pressing the forward button, or I didn't know it was actually gonna, you know, make me decelerate on these tight turns. I didn't know that. Let me try it again. Get it the third third time's the charm. Like, fuck off with that. Ah! Next, baby, next zone! Stop that. Stop that. I'm looking at you, literally every Sonic fan game that's ever existed. Fuck you for that. You're not special. You're not funny. You're just annoying. I don't know if I'm gonna get 100% on this game, by the way. I, I'm just like, I don't know. It all comes down to how accessible it is. I think the, the life mechanic is a big dub and I'm very down for that. And it makes me much more interested in 100%ing this game than literally any other Sonic fan game has ever made me. Uh, but at the same time, it all comes down to how easy these things are to find and whether or not I find it before the game is over. Cause I w I'm sorry guys. Much like every other fan game I ever play, once I play it through one time, that's it. Like, I, I've i had my fun, maybe I'll go back to a level or two, but uh, for for a while, I'm, uh, I'm done. And I'm definitely not coming back to it for like a, I don't know, a final hurrah level. Um, especially because a lot of those levels are very much like, hey, here's some supersonic mechanic. Learn how to use it, have fun. And it's like, that's fine. But I don't feel too bad for missing out on that, if that makes sense. By the way, so unrelated, I just... The, talking about a supersonic mechanic and figuring out how to, like, control that shit, it reminded me. This doesn't have keyboard and mouse support. Or, sorry, opposite. Run that back. This doesn't have controller support, or I guess it technically does. But I put in all of the fucking controller options, and it just wouldn't work like i i filled out everything and it was like no i'm not feeling it i can i just all right hold on it definitely wants me to go this way this is the only level design whoopsie baby that i've ever seen in this game so far what the where the fuck am i going this way okay this is back this is back to where i was oh yeah this is way back to where i was so you're supposed to go this way so you're supposed- okay, so I go this way, and then it wants me to go this way? Is that the vision? Is that what it wants me to do? I don't think so. It doesn't make sense to go left, right? Yeah, de okay, definitely not, definitely not. So let's jump over this way, go back to where I was, which is over here, but then why would it put a spring to go back? And this was- this just sent me backwards, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. so what the fuck? Okay, hold on. Hold the phone, hold the phone. It's definitely- it wants me to go down? No, I already went down there. Fucking I You fucking idiot! Okay, this way. 
back up here. Let's do this and then jump. All right, <laughs> that that works. Remember the thing I was saying? The thing I stole from the commenter? Level design should be uh, seamless. Good level design. That was not seamless, but it's all right. It's all right. And obviously, it does depend on the uh, the game that you're playing. I'm not saying a fucking Metroidvania level design should like be seamless. You shouldn't notice how good the level design is. Like I, I mean, I guess. It should be seamless though, right? Like theoretically? Because people, the thing people like about Metroidvanias and the thing that separates a good Metroidvania from a bad Metroidvania is the kind of existence of like flow in the game where they'll at some point they'll start like not railroading you, but they'll push you into a direction that comes naturally from the, uh, I don't know, from the game that you're playing. Does that, does that make sense? You're gonna be running around the world, and it's naturally going to be like, oh, fuck, so let's go this place, right? It's supposed to be natural. It's not supposed to be like, where the fuck do I go now? That's what a lot of bad Metroidvanias do. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Every, every single Metroidvania that people talk about and suck off, Super Metroid, Metroid Fusion even, that's a little bit of a different case scenario, but like, you get the idea. It's like, very, the flow is good. Dude, the flow is so important for 2D platformers. Like, uh, people don't talk about that shit enough. If you see crazy sh movement, that immediately, immediately puts the game above a fuck ton of other games. Anyways, rambling aside, I want to keep playing this. I want to see if I can beat it and see what all the content is like. But that's for next time. Uh, so, until then.